Hey guys, Ali here. I Alligator is back and today I'm here to talk about how to deal with sand damage to your DJI Spark or I guess any similar drone. So before we start off a little bit about what happened, uh, I was at Jericho Beach today here in Vancouver flying my drone. I wasn't really paying attention bringing it back and I flew it into a tree. And right away after flying it into a tree, I had obstacle avoidance off as well, just so that the speed wasn't limited. Uh, it was going pretty fast. Um, I'll actually put an overlay of the of how it happened from the flight records on the DJI Go app. I wasn't recording at the time, so I have no footage to share of the crash, but um, you can look at the map here and you can see I was going pretty fast right at the tree. So as soon as it came into contact with the tree, um, one of the propellers just snapped off. And this one here actually, and actually broke off. Um, and then being on three propellers, the drone kind of like flew backwards and uh, lodged it itself into the sand. So when I found it, it was basically halfway in the sand. And uh, yeah, there was quite a bit of sand everywhere around the back cover here, uh, around the battery. I turned it off right away and I got home and I realized all four motors were basically completely seized, meaning that I couldn't even spin them by hand. Like some of them you, you could try a little hard to spin it, but um, it made this like grinding sound. It was obviously because of the sand that was lodged in there. I was gonna take it apart and like get it, take the motors out, but thankfully I didn't have the screwdrivers at the time to do that and I didn't do it and it turns out you don't even really need to do that to fix the sand damage on your drone. So let's go ahead and show you guys how I did this today. All right, so here's the propeller that broke off that I was telling you about. So you can see the two little things coming out that holds the propeller in broke off and they stuck onto the motors and this one just flew off. And I have replaced that propeller since. Let's go ahead and show you what you need. So. After this happened, I did a little bit of Googling. There isn't really much resources online on how to deal with this, but I did think that these would be pretty useful. So I got two of these compressed air cans, and then you'll also need a vacuum. But uh, let's go ahead and take the propellers off. So to do that, uh, you basically push down and then turn clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on which one you're taking off. So some of these, so this one's clockwise. Um, and then I think these ones are counterclockwise. Yeah, so these two are counterclockwise and these two are clockwise. It says also on the propeller, if you look right here, there's a lock and unlock. It's pretty easy to take those off. And then once you have it off, you wanna pretty much turn the drone upside down and just give it some good taps. Make sure that any loose sand that's easy to get out is out right away. Then you wanna basically have your vacuum, the narrowest tip that you can find for it, have it on top of these motors like you can see there are these little openings here where you can see all the way down and vacuum as much of that as you can if you don't have a narrow tip for your vacuum you can try to restrict the airflow from sucking around the motor by like covering it with your hands so that all the sucking power is going from um, taking the sand out of inside the motors and while you're doing that um, try to move the motor a little bit just to have the air going all around and loosening up the sand. So like I said, when this happened to me, these were completely locked up. So I had to apply a little bit of pressure to loosen it up as I was vacuuming out and then they slowly got better and better. But if you listen to it um, while you're spinning it with your hand, you can still tell if there's sand in there. And these are, I think, brushless motors. So there's really nothing, no contact being made. So when you spin it, it should be basically completely silent. Once you've used the vacuum to get as much as you can out, then you want to use these compressed air cans. So make sure you shake them up a little bit. And then you want to agitate what is left in there. Preferably you get one that also has this little needle on the tip. And you just want to like go around, uh, basically rotating it with the needle. And ideally you want to do this upside down, but obviously I can't really shoot good video while doing that. So you just want to go around and get as much as you can out. And you should start to notice over time that you're getting more sand out and it's more easier to spin. What other damage happened to my drone was, other than the broken propeller and the sand of the motors, there was also sand stuck around here in the gimbal. So you basically want to use the same vacuum method. There are a lot of nooks and crannies around the gimbal, so you want to try to get that same tactic basically um, with a narrower vacuum head. 
So you want to try get as much as you can out with a vacuum, then agitate with a compressed air can to loosen up any other sands and then go back and vacuum whatever is loose or try to just shake it out of the drone. Once you do that, you basically want to turn on the drone just to see if things are working or not. Yeah, so once it's connected, you can just start spinning them a little bit. Then you just want to listen to see if the motors sound weird at all. So right now I've gone most of the sand out now, I think, if not all. So they sound pretty smooth. You can accelerate a little bit. Yeah, it sounds pretty solid. So we'll go ahead and turn it off. That should do the job. Hopefully you don't need to replace your motors. I don't think these motors are very expensive. I think like $15, $20 us each but it is quite the process to take them out i think you also have to solder in the new ones so once you've gotten most of the sand out with a vacuum and with the help of compressed air um, you should be good to put the propellers back on i would advise that for the next couple of flights after doing this you're a little bit more careful with the drone like don't fly it over water or anything just in case you get odd behavior because of some sand left in there I did fly mine inside for a little bit after doing this and it seems fine and when I spin the motors with my hands there's no obstruction anymore. And also when I open the DJI GO app, it used to say uh, motors obstructed and also gimbal motor overloaded but it doesn't say those anymore so it looks like it's back to normal but I'm still going to be careful for the next couple of flights. So hopefully this helps you get your DJI Spark back in the air as well. I know I was a little bit worried when this happened. I thought this thing wouldn't fly again, but thankfully these are pretty resilient. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash ialligator and leave this video a like if it helped you. And I'll see you guys next time. Woo!